good morning, sir. Yes, good morning, my dear. How may I help you? My name is Okabu from Umezu village. Please, I want to see the king. For real? Yes. Can you tell me why you want to see the king? Oh, uh, uh, I'm sorry. It's strictly for the for the ears of the king, please. For the king's ears? Listen to me. That your pattern, it can walk somewhere else. It can never walk here. Because I'm the one in charge. You have to tell me exactly what you are going to discuss with the king before I grant you access. Uh, we, 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 we. Mr. Vierita, good morning, sir. Yes, good morning. How may I help you? I came to pass a special order from the Queen Mother. What order? She said that the king did not sleep good throughout the night. He actually went to bed this morning. Why? I don't know. But she instructed that no visitor is allowed to see the king till noon. Hey. Okay. You see how your punishment has just started? Her name is Lizzie. She is the maiden that is in charge of all the maidens that are working with the Queen Mother. You just heard what she said. Special order from the Queen Mother. Did you hear that? Uh, sorry. She called you Mr. Bierica. Of course, that's my name. Do you have any problem with that? No, I don't. It's just that uh, you share the same name with my father. He was a uh, Obierika of Umezu. <laughs> That's nice, you know? <laughs> Obierika of Umezu. Good. But you see, that has not diluted the fact that you cannot see the king before noon. <sighs> so if you want to wait for the king before noon, just go to that place and sit down. If you cannot wait, just go and carry that rubbish they said you packed outside and leave this palace. I, I want to see the king. Okay. Which one? Are you leaving? Are you waiting? I will wait. Decide. remarkable that you're visiting me today after a long while and you want me to terminate someone as elevated as the king you see i i came to you because you are from the family of king megas even though you lost out during the time of last politics which they later favored king Goju and he marched as the king that has not changed the fact that you are a credible young man of this very kingdom Ugochuku is destroying this land gradually and he must be stopped. The only person that can help us out is you. That is why I'm here. Ichi, do you know why they call me Pentagon? <laughs> you know, you came out from university bearing that name Pentagon and it has finally swallowed your original name. As for the reason they are calling you the name, I, I don't know. I don't know. I am not always in the habit of starting anything. But once I start, I must see to the end of it. That is why I'm here. The whole kingdom is talking about you. And that is because they know something about you. They know what you can do. You see, the king is destroying this kingdom. And we want you to stop him. Ukuchuku is planning to stop the wonderful justice system that puts money on our table. And uh, he just talking about equity. I kept asking myself, who is Ukuchuku to be talking about equity? We want him to be stopped. We want you to kill him for us. Iche, those of you that sit in council with him should tell him what you want him to do. Ukuchuku cannot veto the cabinet. That is why I want him terminated. So that you can become the king that can listen to the men in the cabinet. Yes. Ukuchuku does not listen to anybody. He believes that he is the only one that knows everything. We must stop him. Ututu. 
matter is that you can sing oh, thank you so i give much. it to you thank you so much i allowed you to sit down here and wait for the king because i share the same name with your father oh thank you very much i have not brought you here for you to start choir practice here this morning so do me one favor shut up oh i'm, I'm very sorry it's just that this is no this is what i know how to do best uh, uh, and i use it to pass away time please i'm so sorry Pass away time by sitting down. Please. The king is sleeping. You hear that? Not sing again. At least for today. Don't provoke me. Send away my guards so you can talk to me alone. What makes you feel I'll be comfortable being with you alone without my guards? Your Majesty, I am a Pamwan Tapa. I make a living from the things provided by nature. I'm also a farmer. And on many occasions, I've seen myself clearing virgin lands and forest. I know the value of human life. I know the power of the king and the challenges of leadership. I am one man in this kingdom who is always praying for the king. I cannot finally appear before the king and be a problem. With due respect, your majesty, I want to speak to the king alone. A 
I'm listening. Speak. Your Majesty, the move you are planning to make in this kingdom is one that will be appreciated by all. However, Your Majesty, majority of the people sitting with you in council do not like you. That is why they don't always support every noble move you make. They will go to the extreme to make sure you do not make this move. How did you get to know about this? The gift of a man, Your Majesty, will open doors and bring him before great men. I'm happy I'm finally here. What do you mean by go to the extreme to ensure I do not succeed in the move I want to make? Your Majesty, it means a, an attempt to assassinate the king. They will attempt to terminate your life so as to impose a king who will do their bidding. In my revelation, I actually saw one of them pull a trigger at you, Your Majesty. You are beginning to sound like a jester to us. No, Your Majesty. Your Majesty, no. These revelations are not meant to be doubted. They are real, Your Majesty. They are real. What makes you feel I will believe you. Now you listen to me. I am king. The king of Edubu Etiti. And no member of my council can ever attempt to murder me. It's not possible. Your Majesty, you will find out the truth. I will be in Umezu. I will wait for your call. May I take my leave, Your Majesty? Oh. You're out. Ah, great friend. So, how was your discussion with the king? Oh, that. Well, I would say it was fruitful because I gave him the message. I would also say it was unfruitful because the king refused to believe me. For real? For real. Could you tell me exactly what you were discussing with the king? Ah, ah, friend. See, I still maintain that the message is for the ears of the king alone. Please. I, I, I want to thank you for all you did for me today. See, I, I appreciate it all. I am so grateful. No problem. I also would want to ask you to come back again with more music. Music? Because you are too much. <laughs> Can I can see you are too much? Thank you so much. No problem. Thank you so much. See you soon. Yeah. Why are you trailing me like this? Okabwe, I am not trailing you. I am following you up to ensure that you get it right. See, the, the whole process is so confusing. Is there something you're not telling me? Tell me about the revelation you had. I saw one of them pursued the king to a place and he was shot. She told me it was a revelation. I've just gone to like warn the king. The man will not listen to me. Okabwe, if Kia is not taking the bullet will hit the king. You are the only person that can save the king. You must do everything possible to save the king. But why, 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 why are you asking me to do that which is impossible? I cannot help the man because he does not believe me. What? what, what? Okay, well, with time, he will believe you. Don't give up. 
What, what, what is the meaning of this? What is the meaning of this? What are all these people? Why are you more concerned about the identity of the messenger rather than the content of the message? I am concerned about the message, Your Majesty. But I sincerely would like to know the identity of this messenger that we have said such a thing. Can you swear by your life, Oyenna, that you do not have a hand in this conspiracy? Your Majesty, the truth is that I never conspired with anybody against the king. All I know is that you have some enemies. All kings on earth have enemies. I know uh, uh, you know this. What I can really swear to now is that I am not one of the enemies of the king. Then, do you in any way know the people or the identities of these people that are planning evil against me. Your Majesty, I don't know them. But if it has been revealed, I would advise you to be very careful. My land, Ezogo Chuku, the first of Enugu Titi. I bow before you, my king. What brings you to my humble abode, my king? Okabue, I have come to hear your song again. Ah. I want you to sing for me. Who am I to turn down that request, my king? I will do that immediately. Such a boy, you see, oh, as a do boy, you see, oh, to go to boy, you see, oh, when you see me, Gadio, as a money, Gadio, oh, but don't know, Esse <laughs> Ese mwi kanya fujwanya Tupo ni sacha belu mesemo Oni satu belu mesemo Oni satu bonyisi Oni sacha bonyisi Ebu baku na upu ya nechagwe Ese muna upu kipo kaka Ese uko chipu na upu kipo ese o on your son in a chimma, on your son, a carosio, Dillo Yganasso, Macanicho, Conichis of Fano, Esamuni Cadio, Esamuni Cadio.
Mama is coming back from the farm. She'll be hungry. Eh? Do you want one of these? Ah. <laughs> Uh, actually, I would have uh, loved to. I didn't ask because uh, I don't have money to buy. Oh. My name is Ogoli. And my main concern is to see hunger banished from this kingdom. So take and eat. Oh, I should take? Yes. Thank you. You're welcome. Her name is Lucy, your majesties. She is the last daughter of his majesty, King Odoputa of Odua Kingdom. And she is the one I want to make my wife. Interesting. I know too well that uh, both of you would have objected if I had come home with just anybody. And for this reason, I taxed myself to get a princess from a great A kingdom. Lucy that you see here is not just beautiful. She is outstanding. Mm. <laughs> beautiful. Outstanding. <laughs> Good words. Um, Lucy. How old are you? I am 27 years old, Your Majesty. I see. 27. Now, aside what our son has just told us, is there anything you need to add? Or is there anything you need to say that he has not said? Oh no, Your Majesty. I believe he has told you everything already. And... Trust me, I am so excited standing before you. Oh really? You are? For how long have you known my son? Three years. I have known him for three years now and we became so close six months ago. And just last week he told me he would want me to be his wife. Oh yes. It took that long because I wanted to be very sure that I was in love with her. Yes. And uh, having the knowledge of the feminine qualities that you would desire and the woman that ought to be my wife, I make bold to say that Lucy is fit to be part of this family. <laughs> Lucy, my yes, lord, yes, dear. excuse us. Come with me. Very well. Quite excuse. Son, sit down. Father, you are married now. <laughs> Why did you have to let her take my fiance? <laughs> Are you scared she's going to eat her up? She's your mother. Okay, they need to be together, talk woman to woman. I know my mother too well. She would definitely bombard that young lady with too many questions. That's the way it ought to be. You know, we need to know her more. 
But leave that. Yeah. Now we're alone. Let's talk man to man. Okay? Uh, you talked about a land. What do you need a land for? Oh, yeah. So tell me. Is it did I not meet my son here before meeting him in London? Yes, Your Majesty, that is the truth. I was called to the office of the chairman in the company where I worked. Reaching there, I met a man from my country. And Jude, your son, was that man. And he was actually so close to my chairman. And what happened afterwards? What happened afterwards? He told me that he was the one that sent for me when he, he heard that there is a hard-working Nigerian girl in that company. So he sent for me. Reaching there, we exchanged numbers and we eventually became friends. And when he later found out that I am from a royal home as well and from his tribe also, he was excited. He felt he has found a sister. And just last week, he proposed to me. I see. So tell me the truth, my dear Lucy. Are you seeing yourself as my son's missing rib that will love him and will not betray him? Your Majesty, we took three years to build up this relationship. Your Majesty, I have come to understand your son inside out. Your son is a goal getter. So, any woman that is privileged to be loved by such a man has no choice than to love him with all her heart. <laughs> mm -hmm. I like that. I'm happy that you see it as a privilege to get married to my son. Pleasure is mine, Your Majesty. You are welcome to our family. Count me as the first friend you've met in this palace. Thank you. And if Majesty. you need anything, just come to me and be sure you get it. Thank you, Your Majesty. Give me a hug. <laughs> Pleasure is mine. You're welcome. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. you. If actually you want to kill this man, then you have to summon courage and shoot at him. Take him off. Why are we even trailing this man anyway? Eh? Why, are we, why are we trailing this man upon your kitchen of no fire? Why are we trailing him? Culture, do me a favor. And that is shut up and concentrate. <laughs> I can't even believe this. Ventago, you are talking to me. You are asking me to shut up simply because I told you what you need to do. I can't believe this. Coach, listen to me. You have to understand something. I cannot just shoot this man just for the sake of shooting. I want him to die. I want to become king, Coach. I brought you into this game because I trust you. Do not disappoint me by speaking like a woman. I mean, speaking like a woman. Too many talks does not fully basket. Wow, it's a big one. Huh? My God. You know, a lot of businesses are going to be located here. For the uh, purpose of what you want to set up, I, I want to give you this land. You know, this expert, you know, so you can uh, with your company here. Mm -hmm. But that 
it's a fine, it's a fine piece of land, it's large, but mm. uh, I would like to establish my company close to the people. I don't know, it's a bit far. You, see, you don't understand, sir. You see, if you do this just like I did, okay, when businesses open and begins to operate, okay, it's going to attract people, okay? That's what is called development. Oh. You expand in the kingdom. You know, no, never mind. You will soon get to understand what I'm saying. <laughs> That's the way it is. So I think this place will be very, very ideal for you. Oh, come away, 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 oh,